So people are sometimes concerned that a heat pump is significantly different than the way they might operate their furnace or air conditioner. And I just wanted to take a quick second to show you that this is a thermostat very similar to what you're used to that controls both the heating temperature and the cooling temperature. And it starts with very simple push the button. Right now I'm showing it as off. The current temperature in the room is showing here 23 degrees Celsius. Here we are in the summertime. Uh, but the system itself is off, neither heating nor cooling. When you'd say, well, in winter, I'd like to turn it to heat. One push the button, I go to heat. The heat point temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. In other words, the system isn't going to come on until the temperature gets lower than 20 degrees. And you can say, well, I get warmer than that. Fair enough. Push the red arrow. Push the red arrow and I'd say push it to, say, 23 degrees. Each push of the button gets you one degree temperature. Now the house will maintain 23 degrees Celsius automatically based on this temperature. Similarly, I could turn it down at night if I wanted. And indeed, it's programmable if you want to program it. Then you would say, well, now I'm thinking that it's really cold outside and I would like to, and I want to heat the house up quickly. That is maybe I've been away for a few weeks. You would turn it to what's called emergency on, which will give you a little bit of boost. It'll heat up just a little bit quicker. Don't want to use that all the time. Just if you're looking to quickly heat up the house, if you've been away for a number of days and had the temperature turned down. And then the next best setting is, uh, is auto. And auto will automatically switch from heating to cooling. So you could set it at auto, leave it there year-round. It will know that in summer I'm supposed to cool and in winter I'm supposed to heat. If you want to go to straight cooling, to respond to cooling, then you would go to cool and you would simply again adjust the temperature to where you would like it to be at. In this case I'm showing it now at 23 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees is the design temperature the system was designed for, sort of the normal temperature, typical setting that we would say most people get comfortable with in the summertime. If you like it a degree or two cooler than that, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend that you go much lower than say 21 degrees Celsius. What you'll find is the house will feel cool but it'll also feel clammy. So you want to stay in around 21 to 23 degrees Celsius is the normal run. The last little piece is there's a fan switch and we would recommend that you run the fan, oops, sorry, run the fan in what's called fan on. Notice I don't touch here, I touch the white dial and that means the, the low speed fan is going to run all the time. This is, it runs at a nice low speed, roughly a third of the speed and it just makes sure you got good distribution air. You're typically find you're more comfortable, you get better air filtration if you run fan on. The fan is drawing very low power, so it doesn't really cost you anything uh, much to run this, a few dollars a year. One last thing, it has a maintenance feature to it, so it'll remind you of when to change your furnace filter. So you'll see a little flash that'll tell you time to change the filter. Other than that, thermostat, war the red button is warmer, the blue button is cooler. Try to stay in that range of 20, 21 degrees Celsius in winter, 22, 23 degrees Celsius summer. So you remember we were talking about build tight, ventilate right, the ability to be able to ventilate your house on a consistent basis. And recall that all houses, including uh, watercolors houses have windows that can open. That's how we've always ventilated houses by opening windows. But of course, there's much, much of the year you don't want to open your windows. I mean, it's noisy, it's dusty, it's cold, it's hot. So what, what you've been provided with is a mechanical ventilation device called an ERV. And one of the other video clips, we showed you what that device was doing. It has two fans in it. One brings fresh air in, one takes stale out. And it recovers the energy between those two air streams. And you're gonna ask, well, how do I control that? How do I know how to run it? It's very simple, this one control. One touch, and it goes from um, off to what's called intermittent. This will run at 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off. When would I use that? Well, let's say you're away during the day. Um, you don't want it running all the time, but when you get home, you wouldn't want to smell the bacon smells and so on that you had from the morning. You'd have it on intermittent. But if you're home all the time, you'd say, when do I want fresh air in my home? All the time. This is running at low speed continuous. Just a small amount of fresh air designed for the style and a number of people in your home that allows you to have continuous fresh air, exhaust air out, fresh air in, recovering the energy. And then you have another setting that says medium speed. So a low speed continuous for just a couple of people in the house. If there's more people or if you're finding the house just a little stuffy or stale, you'd go to medium speed. It just gives you a little boost in terms of the fresh air quantity. 
And then you have the last setting, which is maximum speed. And this, you might say, when would I run, want the system running at its highest possible speed? Well, with a house full of people, for example. Let's say it's Christmas holidays, and you have the grandkids over, and lots of running around, lots of moisture, lots of cooking. You'd run it at maximum speed. So the very simple control, and then if you'd say, I don't want it on. I'm down in Florida. I'm away for the weekend. You would just hit it again, and no lights on. Two other interesting little pieces. One, this automatic mode. Automatic is helping make decisions with respect to moisture. It's looking at the outside temperature, both summer and winter, and helping you make decisions that would say, it's really hot and humid out today, I'm not gonna run it quite as much. It's really cold and dry in the winter, very, very cold, I'm not gonna run it quite as much. So that helps you automatically manage your energy bills and your ventilation. One last one. You've, um, you're um, vacuuming, you're cooking, and there's some odors in the house, and you want it to run at high speed, but not forever, and you don't want to forget. You would turn it to turbo, and it'll run for its maximum speed for four hours. So you'd hit turbo and say, I'm gonna run for four hours. When it's finished its four hours, it'll go back to whatever mode you were on, whether it was auto, whether it was low, whether it was high. You'll notice in the auto button, there's also a little indicator right here at the top. When it lights up, that means it's time to clean the filters inside your HRV. People do ERV. People ask, how often do I maintain this? This will tell you. It's basically three months worth of run time. It's keeping track of how often the system's been running, and every three months it's going to just light this little guy up, and it's going to remind you, oh, I need to clean the filters. What do I do? I go downstairs, open that box, take out the filters, vacuum them out also go outside. The two hoods on the outside of the house, one's bringing fresh air in, one's taking exhaust air out. I want you to think about just cleaning those up, a little wire brush or a little stiff brush that's picking up lints and pollens and so on. So just clean it up. So once every three months, this little indicator is going to go off roughly three months and it's going to tell you to clean the filters, clean the hoods. And one final piece, in addition to these, this main control, the bathroom, the kitchen and the laundry room have a second type of control. It's just a simple timer switch. So when you're using the bathroom, you'd hit that switch and it'll simply turn the, the system to high speed. And it's a time function and you can set it at 20 minutes and it'll run for high speed at 20 and then it'll come back down to this speed. So each bathroom in the kitchen, laundry room, each have one of these, a, a slightly simpler wall control that just boosts the equipment to high speed. Remember this, use this control whenever you want fresh air in your home. How much fresh air do you want? When do you want it? This device, very simple decision saying, I want fresh air intermittently, I want it at low speed, and sometimes I might want it at high speed. Simple decisions that allow you to, to have really good air quality in a house that is incredibly energy efficient with the best possible air quality for your family. Mm -hmm.